Hello students. So, in the last class, we have learnt about reaction of metal with water, reaction of metal with oxygen. Now, in today's class, we will be learning about reaction of metals with acid. Okay. So, reaction of metal with acids, we have already completed in acid bases and salt chapter. So, same thing we will be seeing here, followed by some new exceptions that you will be learning with respect to metals. Okay. So, the general equation will be. Metals, they will react with dilute acid, okay, they will react with dilute acid and they will produce salt plus hydrogen gas, okay. So, hydrogen gas will be evolved in the reaction. So metals, they will be reacting with dilute acid like dilute nitric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute sulfuric acid and they will always be giving you salt and there will be release of water in the reaction. Okay. So, let's see some examples. So, first metal that we are going to see is magnesium metal. Okay. So, first example we are going to see is reaction of magnesium with dilutes hydrochloric acid okay so here we have dilute hcl it is dilute in nature so magnesium it will react with hydrochloric acid and it will give salt plus hydrogen so you know that hydrogen will be evolved so you release hydrogen first whatever left will be mixing and it will be giving rise to the products okay so magnesium and chlorine is left so they will react and we will get magnesium chloride Okay, so magnesium chloride is a salt and we are getting in hydrogen gas. Now moving on to the next example that is Fe reacting with HCl that is dilute hydrochloric acid. So ferrous it will react with dilute hydrochloric acid and we will get ferric chloride that is FeCl3 plus H2 will be released in the reaction. Make a note. Reactions are not balanced. Already you have learned balancing of chemical equations and reactions. So you can do it on your own. Okay. Then we have reaction of aluminium with HCl. Okay. So aluminium with react aluminium will react with hydrochloric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid, and hydrogen gas will be released. And Aluminium chloride will be produced in the reaction. So, magnesium chloride, ferric chloride, aluminium chloride, all these are salts. Okay. They are salts in nature while hydrogen gas will be evolved in the reaction and these hydrogen gas, the presence of hydrogen gas can be detected by pop test. Is it clear? Now, moving on to some exceptions, okay. So, in this case, we are having some exceptions also. So, under these types of chemical reactions also, we are having some exception. And the exception is that metals, when they react with dilute nitric acid, nitric acid is HNO3. So, whenever metals they are reacting with nitric acid that is HNO3 in that case salt and water will be produced okay so during that case what will happen salt plus water will be produced no hydrogen gas will be released in that situation okay now listen carefully why exactly is that happening now we know that we have nitric acid. Now this nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent. It is a strong oxidizing agent. And you know that these oxidizing, oxidizing agents or any oxidizing agents, what they do? They themselves get reduced. So this HNO3 will be getting reduced and as it is an agent, which will be helping in oxidizing some other substance. That is why it is known as oxidizing agent. So they themselves will be getting reduced and they will be helping this hydrogen gas in getting converted into water. Okay, they will be oxidizing hydrogen gas 
by giving them oxygen molecule and themselves when they are giving oxygen molecules they will be getting reduced so these nitric acids they are strong oxidizing agent stronger the concentration of nitric acid more strong will be its oxidizing agent okay so nitric acids they are strong oxidizing agent and because they are strong oxidizing agents so what they will do they themselves will be getting reduced they will be removing oxygen right removal of oxygen is reduction so they themselves they will be getting reduced and they will be helping in oxidization of hydrogen gas and along with that many nitrogen oxides will be released in the reaction i hope this exception is clear okay so in the case when metals they are reacting with nitric acid so we will not get hydrogen gas in that case water will be produced okay the hydrogen gas which was initially being produced will be getting oxidized because of this oxidizing property of nitric acid it will act as oxidizing agent now this exception is also having one more exception and the exception is of mn that is manganese and magnesium now manganese and magnesium they do not follow this pattern they will react with nitric acid that is they will react with dilute nitric acid and they will give rise to salt and hydrogen gas they will not give rise to water salt will be produced along with that hydrogen gas will be produced when manganese and magnesium they are mixed with nitric acid but other metals on mixing with nitric acid they will be producing salt and water okay so i hope reaction of metals with acid is clear to everyone so moving on to the next property that is reaction of metals with salt solution of other metals now in the first chapter of chemistry class 10th we have studied that more reactive metals will be displacing less reactive metals from their salt solutions right for example on this side you can see a picture so we have a black color nail the black color nail is dipped in blue color copper sulfate solution after some time the reaction will be taking place and the iron nail which is made up of fe will be reacting with the copper sulfate solution and after some times you will see that the blue color of the copper sulfate solution has got disappeared that is some chemical reaction has taken place and the iron nail is now deposited with uh, it is deposited with brown color copper right so what has taken place here metal a has displaced metal b okay so the general equation for displacement reaction will be metal a plus salt solution of metal b when both of them are mixed together what will happen metal a as metal a will be more reactive in nature and this metal b in comparison to metal a will be less reactive in nature so what it will do metal a will displace and it will form a bond with the salt solution of metal b okay and metal b will be left alone so here on the product side we will get salt solution of metal a plus metal b metal b will be produced on the product side same thing happens in the case of the experiment video that just we have seen that is fe which is metal a will be reacting with the salt solution of metal b so it is reacting with the copper sulfate solution so copper is a metal and copper sulfate solution is the salt solution of copper metal okay so both they will react with each other and as iron is more reactive while copper is less reactive so iron will be having a tendency of displacing copper theek hai zyada reactive hai zyada reactive matlab uske paas zyada strength hai jab bhi koi ek healthy bachcha kisi weak bachche se fight karne aayega definitely it will be the healthy bachcha that will win in the fight same thing will happen here also iron more reactive means more strength it is having more healthy it is definitely when it will be fighting with 
a less reactive metal, the more reactive metal will win. Okay, so it will come and it will displace copper from its position and we will get ferrous sulfate plus copper will be released in the reaction. This is nothing but displacement reaction. And in all the react reactions, in all the chemical properties, that is reaction of metals with air, reaction of metals with water, reaction of metals with acids, we have seen that metals, they do not have same type of reactivities. There will be some metals which will be highly reactive, then there will be some metals which will be, which will be having moderate reactions, then there will be some metals which will be not at all reactive, right? So to know the reactivity order of all the metals with the help of displacement reaction, we can easily find the decreasing strength or decreasing order of the reactivity of all metals. List of metals which are arranged in their decreasing order according to their displacement reaction are known as reactivity series okay so now let's see the reactivity series and how and which metals will be more reactive and which metals will be less reactive and how these reactive and less reactive metals they will be undergoing displacement reaction with the help of reactivity series so here on your screen you can see the reactivity series so always remember the elements which are present on the top okay the elements which are present on the top they are more reactive while the elements like gold and uh, silver which are present at the bottom they are least reactive elements and the elements which are present at the middle portion they are moderate reactives okay just remember a simple concept wherever two people are fighting okay so if you want to know which person is winning definitely the person which will be on the top of the other person will be a winner right Normal si baat hai, koi bhi chagad raha hai, koi bhi bachche chagad raha hai. So definitely the one who is on the top will be the winner. He will be dominating the fight. It means that that particular boy or that particular person is having more strength. Same thing happens in the case of reactivity elements, reactivity series also. Elements which are present on the top, they are more reactive than all the bottom elements, okay? And all the bottom elements will be less reactive in comparison to the elements which are present on the top. And never ever weaker elements, they can displace a stronger element. No such reaction will be taking place in which weaker element has to displace a stronger element. So that reaction will never be taking place. Okay, so let's see some examples of reactions with the help of reactivity series. So the first example is the reaction of gold that is Au with HCl that is hydrochloric acid. Okay. So as for the reactivity series, you can see that hydrogen pele aata hai. Below hydrogen, we have gold. Okay. So it means that in comparison to hydrogen, what is the nature of gold? Will it be more reactive or it will be less reactive? Yes. Hydrogen as it is present on the top, definitely it will be more reactive in comparison to gold which is present at the top. So is it possible for gold to displace copper from its salt solution? Is it possible? No, it is not possible. So in this case, no reaction will be taking place. Okay, let's see one more example. So next example is reaction of Fe with copper sulfate solution. Now you have a look of the reactivity series table and you will see that Fe, then we have hydrogen, after that copper will be present in the reactivity series, right? So basically this shows that as ferrous is present above the copper, so definitely ferrous will be having more reactivity will be more reactive right as copper is less reactive than ferrous definitely what will happen in this case whenever copper and ferrous sulfate they are reacting with each other as copper is less reactive than ferrous so this reaction will not proceed and no reaction will be taking place because copper being a less reactive metal cannot displace a higher reactive metal from its own solution but 
when we are undergoing this first reaction that is fe reacting with copper sulfate solution in this fe as it is present at top position it is more reactive so this more reactive element can displace a less reactive copper sulfate from its salt solution and this equation we will get that is feso4 plus copper so i hope displacement reaction is clear to all of you